Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how to create new users in Nagio scope and give permissions such as read only permission to that user. For that we will use ht password command for this. Let me copy this command, go back to my EC2 instance and run this. Here I will give a name such as Rohan read only. After that it will prompt me for a password. So I have added the user Rohan successfully. Now I want to see how many users are there for accessing Nagio's web interface. For that I will cat the htpassword.users file and I will get the list with that encrypted passwords. Now if I head back and try to log in with this username will I able to view everything? Let's watch. I will open it in private tab and I will copy the URL so Rohan read only and the password I need to provide so I have logged in as Rohan read only if I go to here I can see logged in as Rohan read only but I am not able to view anything it provides me a message it appears as though you do not have permission to view information for any of the host you requested if I go to the system options and select on commands if I click on add a new host command and let's see localhost command test command so I can see sorry but you are not authorized to commit the specified command for this I will visit cgi.cfg file so let me cd user local nagios etc cgi.cfg now I will do vi cgi.cfg I will head back as I have created a read only users means he will only view the status I will system process information configuration information access I will go here read only users So I will press I for insert mode, delete user1, user2 and write Rohan underscore read only and give permission for viewing all the global host and service. This one view access. Now I will do escape. Now I will restart the Nagio service. Now if I go ahead back in this menu and I will click on host. I am able to view now the local host and I do not have permission to execute commands but I can able to view the status details everything I can able to view. If I click on current load, I am able to view the current status, status information, performance data, I am able to view. 
so in this lecture we learn that using HT password we can able to create user if you want to delete the user no issues just go here there is one user Robert underscore arrow so I need to go to the HT password command and specify the username Robert underscore arrow and use a flag hyphen D this will delete that specified user so deleting password for user robert underscore ro if i again do a cat i can only able to see nagios admin and rohan underscore read only and their encrypted passwords if you know want to know about more about ht password you can do ht password hyphen hyphen help to get the list so you can see the list types combination and you can get more idea of HD password. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching.